So we tried the Toyota Mirai and now we're going to talk about the specification and the technique detail about this car. Romaric, this is really a unique configuration. It was the first time that I drove a hydrogen fuel cell car and I was impressed. It's really just like a normal gas engine car. Yeah, it's actually what uh, we try to do, like uh, have a, a normal drive experience driving the Mirai. We didn't want the Mirai to be so special that people would be like lost driving it. So we really want something to be easy, uh, user friendly, uh, like a regular car. So this is really a unique configuration. The mechanic, you've got the gas, you've got the reserve tank, an electrical battery there, electrical motor. So this is really a unique configuration. Yes, the fuel cell car is actually an electric car because it's an electric motor that propels the car. Okay. But we also have hydrogen because we have a fuel cell stack and the fuel cell stack works with hydrogen. So in a fuel cell car, you go to the hydrogen station, pump, refill the hydrogen tank for three to five minutes and then get 500 kilometers of range with one tank of hydrogen. The car feels a little bit heavier, but when I look inside, you've got the tons of equipment. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's fully loaded. Yeah, yeah, it's fully loaded. So the equipment is great, safety equipment. So we have a pre-collision system, we have a dynamic cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and we have a lot of uh, convenient features inside. So leather seats, dual zone, uh, automatic AC. We have a uh, heated front and rear seats, heated, heated steering wheel too. So lots of uh, very cool features. Let's talk about security. Security is important because each time that I told somebody about this technology, hydrogen, oh, they, oh the fuel tank, it's going to be dangerous if you add an impact. Yeah. Toyota, surely think about that. Yeah, we researched, we did a lot of uh, studies about hydrogen tanks for the past 15 years. So we've been working on that for, uh, for a long time. And uh, they're actually bulletproof the tanks, the two tanks. We have two tanks in the car, okay. two hydrogen tanks, high pressure, made of carbon fiber. And they're actually bulletproof. We tried to shoot at them and they didn't, they were not damaged. So I cannot really imagine you with your gun and your glasses and shooting at Toyota tanks, but I'm going to believe you, that's for sure. Talk to me about the price of this car, because right now it's not available in Quebec. Uh, the infrastructure is not really there, so that's a thing also that you're going to have to work on. Right. Mirai for now currently is on sale in uh, countries that have infrastructure station. Yep. We are talking about Japan, we're talking about California, and we're talking about countries in Europe. So in California, for example, the car sells for $57,000 US. And uh, you can also lease it. We have a lot of uh, government incentives. Yep. And you can also lease it for $300 per month. In this price is included the gas, so the hydrogen for four years. That's cool, because with the incentive of the government, it's going to help a lot. The price is a little bit higher than what I thought at first, but this is the price of technology also. It is, yeah. And uh, remember that a few years ago, these cars cost like millions of dollars. Yeah. And we've reduced the price by a lot for like uh, since uh, in a few years. So Toyota once again is making a path to the future of the car with the Mirai. Thanks, Irama Rick. It's really appreciated. Thank you. You're welcome.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that small video about the Toyota Mirai and that new fuel cell technology. It was the first time that I drove this kind of car and I was impressed on how well it went. I like the autonomy. I like that the fact that it's not long to refuel. I like also the fact that Toyota is putting a lot of effort in those new technology of the future. But right now I want to know what do you think guys? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. If a refuel station was available with hydrogen near your house, near your workplace, would you go for this kind of car? I like the fact that it's not long to refuel, you know, with battery, with electric car, that's a major factor right now. But hey, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Comment section down there below. Do a thumbs up if you like that video. And don't forget to subscribe to Car Question because we're going to have more video for you. Take care.